so <laughs> it could be connected to the lake and the hike. You tell the story. Okay, I'll tell the story. <laughs> it gets better. Oh my God. So it's starting out slow, I know. But so we're looking down the hike, and he's like, oh, oh, we can't find the trail, so let's just like, let's just like, go down the hill and we'll figure it out. And I'm like, okay, cool. So like, I have on these Nike Roches that have like zero traction because I thought we were just doing like, a walk hike. And we start like scaling the mountain to go down to the, <laughs> to the lake because we could see the path around the lake, but okay. we couldn't get down to it. We kept walking, trying to find the path, so we couldn't find it. So he's like halfway down. I'm like holding on the trees. I kept slipping and oh, like, slipping and slipping. Was he at least like, oh no, careful, take my hand? No, he no. was like, I'm going down as quick as I can. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun racing. Like a fun racing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my own, and like halfway up the hill, I just like, totally ate it, oh. and I really fell for a while. I like, cut up my whole side, but I was like trying to play it off, like I'm totally fine. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm starting to into those shirts, so I was like, I can't do anything. So oh my I, God. But we get to the bottom, and I'm like, oh, finally we make it. Like I'm all cut up, but like I made it. And there's a, a like a huge rock wall to get down. And he's he just like maneuvers his way, holding on to like a dead tree. This like, was all the way like he planned. He planned. planned. Like, he's like, watch my muscles. So I get on the rock wall and I'm like trying to go down and my hand just slips and I just ate shit and oh. fell onto him, which was already awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and I find out so then then I'm like, okay, let's just go back. Like I'm really bleeding, like do my thing. <laughs> I was living with family friends at the time, like I can't show up like coming back home from like a date. Yeah. With, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. You need to move out. So I was like, I don't have any money. So I um, so I was like, can you just go back to Berkeley and like I'll just you know like shower and then you know we can like go back and do a hike or like go out and get a drink or something. Okay. And so I go back and I'm like showering this place. Literally felt like I was in like a movie, like the blood was everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> and then um so then he's like, so we're sitting in his room, and he just tells me like, I'm not really like interested in this being like as much of a date, like, but I'm down to be friends. And I'm like, oh my god, I just like bled everywhere. Yeah. So, <laughs> lost, lost yeah. My but I'm like, so we'll roll with it. So we Uber to the Castro that night because we had a few drinks and I couldn't drive home. So Good we Uber to the Castro, <laughs> uh -huh. and from Oakland or from Berkeley, and we go out, and he starts making out with another dude at the bar. <gasps> so rude. Like, in front of me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? But I still have to go back because my car's at Berkeley. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Back with him, we were back. The other guy didn't come. Did up, he but. acknowledge at any point, like what I did was bad manners? He was fucked up, but yes, he did. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we were in the car, and he was like, "Sorry, if that was awkward." I was like, "No, not at all." Like, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awkward than before. Yeah, it's so yeah, it's like, it's totally cool. I was like cleaning my wounds in the bathroom, <laughs> and so we get back. He like passes out. I like my spoon him a little bit. I don't remember. <laughs> So I get out of there, book it home, like re-showered, and then the weeks following that, I start to be like, oh my god, I'm so itchy. Oh no! No, no! Poison oak. No! Poison oak everywhere! No! All of my legs, my arms, my neck, like my face, I had some right here. Did he get any of it? None. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> poison oak. So I had poison oak, I had, I had to get treated twice for it because it was so bad. It was like in my wound. Oh, yeah. And he literally texted me the next day and was like, hey, that was really fun, boy. we should definitely just be friends. I was like, I got the point you're making out. Oh. <laughs> Give it up for so. me! You <laughs> 
lied to me. No, what? <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't lie to you. You could have scaled the Great Wall of China, but you just didn't want to. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a hun like you. <laughs> okay? I didn't bring a grappling hook. Where did you get that thing? <laughs> From sports basement. <laughs> And you just bought a grappling hook from a sports base? Sports on my hand! You have to have that. You have to have that. What, what about the big ceremonial sword? Sports base? No, come on! <laughs> That's ridiculous. They gave you a ceremonial sword at sports basement? Yeah, but Zach hooked it up. Uh, Zach hooked it up? Yeah. You're on first name basis with the guys at sports base? <laughs> Chester! Zach, my man. Hey, do you want any old, ancient, Chinese stuff? <laughs> you know I'm the only one that sells it to you. I know. <laughs> Unlicensed, yeah. Lots of anthropologists come in here looking for this. And I tell them, get lost, bub. My friend Chester needs it for his date with a man he just met. <laughs> Yeah, I got wave protein in my raspberry ass. <laughs> I got an immunity boost. Oh, so you're like sick all the time? No. <laughs> I know what boost you, what boost you get means a lot about you. Oh, it does. I get whey protein because I like building my strength. <laughs> you get immunity because you're maybe sick and weak all the time. <laughs> I'm working on my endurance right now, and it's been tough. Uh, but I think, I don't think I'm that weak. Don't you don't look it, but then you got that ch that boost, so I don't know. <laughs> if you got a wheatgrass boost, you're like, you're kind of hippie, you know? I took you here for a reason. Uh, <laughs> Reggie, I just, uh, can I be honest with you? Maybe this says even more about me, but when I was looking at the menu and I saw all the options, I got real overwhelmed and scared, and immunity was the first thing I saw. <laughs> Oh, so you didn't even take it seriously? <laughs> what are you doing? This is important. All right? Did you even, did you even like the, the orange dream machine that I got you? <laughs> it tastes like a, like one of those popsicles that have cream in the middle. It's orange. What's it called? I forgot. If I, if I had known it was a test, I would have prepared. Would did I get you, it? No, okay, was what a would you have got? What would you have got? What boost would you have got? <laughs> right? This is serious now. I don't want to date. I don't want to date like a person with a compromised immune system. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Did 40 you know? choices. Did you know? <laughs> when you kiss, you exchange information about your immune system with somebody. So if you wanted to know more. Well, you can't. <laughs> oh. right, <I> <laughs> Order first, because I'm not sure what you have. <laughs> All right, kids, get around the campfire. Oh. Let's tell the scary story about the East Bay. <laughs>
Modesto. <laughs> Jerry I get it. Now. 
You thought maybe because I have no physical abilities I'd be smart. No, I thought because you <laughs> had sciatica. You're the one I'd like to go with, but if... The I doctor don't... scribbles it on the pad. I can't read it. Yeah. <laughs> doctor scribbles like it. Doctor scribbles it. You've got an ailment and you've never Googled it? What kind of guy is that? This is Jeremy. I don't know how to use the internet, so... <laughs> All right, so it's a, it's a double loss over here. Can you, can you spell sciatica? It's cool if you can't. The next one's another Sciatica. All right. Yes. Uh huh. Well, honestly, I'm going to tell the truth for a second I... here. I don't know how to spell <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mark. This is a medical miracle. I don't know how to tell you this, but the poison oak has gotten into your bloodstream. <laughs> what? And you can spread it just by breathing on people. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like a shitty super person. <laughs> oh my god. What? I, I, I'm, this, I'm thrilled with the stuff. It's awful. Look at these cuts and how it's festering inside of you. It's my doctor. You're supposed to fix me. I don't know I can fix you. You're a beautiful piece of nature. <laughs> You're like when Mother Nature made love to Father Time. <laughs> created something beautiful. Did that happen? That totally happened, dude. Mother Nature and Father Time totally got it on. That sounds like some weird fan fiction you're writing. <laughs> hey, Father Time. It's Mother Nature. You want to get down? Bad boy? <laughs> it's more of a porno than a fan fiction. <laughs> Second chapter's very good. <laughs> Father Time, they fucking reverse. <laughs> and Mother Nature turns back into a seed. That's sick. I'm also a writer on the side. <laughs> get this back. No, no, you keep that copy. Don't drop it. <laughs> it's the only one. You want, you want, okay. It's the only All right, copy. Dog, I, I, I don't want to be a superhero, right? It sounds like shitty. I can't kiss my girlfriend anymore. I can't tug my mom. Look, it's not like Rogue from X-Men, okay? You say tug your mom? <laughs> <laughs> tug my mom. Don't tug your mom. I'm not tugging my mom. Why are you tugging your mom? <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Clearly, clearly set up. Just a little tug. <laughs> I want to hug your mom. I don't want to tug you. Okay? <laughs> I'm sure. All right. I'm sure. All right. The results came in. You've been tugged so hard, Mike. You've, uh, you've become more shirt than mom. It's like Abercrombie made love to Fitch. And they created this super thing. Hey, Fitch! Yeah, let's come back. Oh. Apartment's nice. I just I love my hometown. I just moved here a couple of months ago from uh, just outside Boston. And can't I'm also from right outside Boston. I know you hate it. Or you love it? I don't remember. I love it. Okay. I'm from Malden. Uh, I actually can't say that I. We call it Little Boston. <laughs> it's cool. where Noma Garcia Power was born. Okay. Um, listen, can I get you like a? I, I've been. I will have a Red Sox brand Bud Light. Oh. <laughs> I don't have that. But what about a? Uh, I have a red bug that we could put wine in. I'm sorry. I really like you, and I feel like we've been flirting at work for a long time. But I don't know that I realized you were quite this zealous. Do you know what I mean? Zellies, because I love all of my favorite sports teams, <laughs> the New England Revolution, <laughs> the Boston Red Sox, the Pawtucket Red Sox, <laughs> Bruins. Okay. You know, I went. To, I grew up there till I was like eight, and then I went to school for one semester there. So I. You live out of a family break. 
is that like a? Is that a hot dog? It's a hot dog. Okay. <laughs> they boil it. I could. I have uh, sort of like a breakfast sausage in the fridge. Do you want me to? Mm -hmm. I can put that in a pot. I yes, <laughs> please. That's what you want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and tell you me. could have one of those damp rolls from the ballpark. One that's been handled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I have like part of a sourdough loaf I could put in the sink, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is going to work out. <laughs> that feels really premature. I feel like we were having a really good time until... Um, you don't know anything about my culture. Uh, <laughs> fine. You know what? You're right. Uh, teach me. Teach me uh, what, was it, what, what, what was sort of like your day-to-day -day routine. I would wake up and watch a Red Sox game. <laughs> Every single morning? Live. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, what morning Red Sox games were you going to? Every single morning? There are preseason games that are before 11 a.m. Did you go to school? I'm very no. worried you may not. My school is a ballpark. My home life was that famous stadium the Patriots play in. Which one? You seem to know everything about Boston. Say what it is. <laughs> Gillette Stadium. Oh. Hey kid, all right. I know. I know you're living in this dugout. All right. You gotta. You gotta go home. All right. You gotta go to your real home. You can't live in this dugout. All right. I, I don't have. Fenway Park. I don't have no home. You don't have no home. I don't have no home. I've been. Hey. I've been hey. Here. Hey. It's not your fault. <laughs> Haunted by a shitty ghost. <laughs> what do you mean? I was into my room and he just 
starts like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my pills, my pills, where are my pills? He says my pills. He literally says my pills. You know, that might be your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> no, your dead grandfather. Is, he, this is his house. You think it's Pappy? <laughs> he loved his pills. He loved them. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be scared right now, or? Okay, can I? It's definitely him, because in his old age, he started talking like a droid in Star Wars. Oh! It's definitely him. I think he winked at me. He winked? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Did Pappy have a winking thing? He loved to wink at everybody. <laughs> 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 Shelter ready? Is our shelter the shelter I've been working on for two years? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dad, you can't finish anything. I can't finish anything. You can't even finish your marriage with mom. No. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get married, all right? Maybe if you finish that shelter, she'll come back. That's what I'm saying, right? She stormed it. She literally stormed out. <laughs> Working on today, hon. <laughs> working on the, uh, on the, on a cabinet that's gonna go in the shelter, right? We just put so many baked beans <laughs> on this cabinet. Maybe you should finish the outside frame first. <laughs> Maybe cabinet. we don't need cabinets until we have a place to go. It's so about, how about I haven't proposed? Is that what this is? You need to work on our marriage before you finish that shelter. <laughs> What if I finish the shelter first? <laughs> what if I do that? And then, in a hurricane, maybe two years from now, you come back and you got because you have nowhere to go, and you open the shelter door and I'm there on one knee, ready to welcome you in. What about that completely hypothetical situation? <laughs> I say about that. I feel like you're not taking me serious. I have needs. <laughs> Most of them are shelter based. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are marriage based. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two separate things. Two separate things. Oh, I'm just. I, you have to juggle your wife like that clown. I used to juggle that clown all day. Okay? That was the beautiful act I had. I juggled that clown. Okay? His name was Pebbles. He was a good man. All right? He, he so died crazy. in Vietnam. <laughs> In 1985. <laughs> uh, Alright, buddy, you sure you want to juggle me? <laughs> yeah, Pebbles. <laughs> Pebbles, you don't look well. What happened? I got shot. In Vietnam? Yeah. <laughs> Bullet's been lost for 17 years. <laughs> just, just juggle me. Just juggle me. <laughs> I don't think this is good for your health today. Just right? juggle me. Also, I, my body is atrophied. Since you've been in Vietnam, and I don't think I can do it anymore. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you know what? I'll give it a try. Keeping me alive. Okay. All right. This is going to be, honestly, this is going to be a lot of. I'm going to generate a lot of power from my lower body. <laughs> So have you got your 
Cass. Shut up! Okay. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Okay. Lose my power. Okay. Lose focus. Okay. Shut up. I think you're just gonna take a big jump. <laughs>
want me to go back up the beanstalk? I don't care what you do with the beanstalk. You just can't be in the Starbucks. <laughs> My wife is up. My ex-wife is up there. I can't go back up that piece. <laughs> you need to get a job. No! <laughs> Linda, I've been trying. I've been trying to do hard as. I have an electrical engineering degree. <laughs> iPhones charge on pads now. Linda, what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, I'm hungry! Look, our giant baby's hungry. <laughs> Go back to school on tiny people land. No! I can't go back to Harvard on tiny people land. It was awkward being the giant in class. I was so good at sports, though. <laughs> All right, class. Um, uh, we're going to learn about anatomy today. So this does not apply to you. Okay. <laughs> Usually when people say this doesn't apply to you, it kind of applies to you. We're about human anatomy. Okay. So you have to learn the material, but don't look at your body for your own reference. Okay. okay. Everyone else, look at your own body for your own reference. <laughs> learn about the, uh, we're learning about the arms. Oh. They're very important. Yeah. All right. now, once again, your arms are very different. Oh, okay. they're trunks like trees. <laughs> Yeah, are they, can I, sorry, I wanted to ask, are they trunks like trees? Because I keep seeing, and then I'm like, that's like a tree, but I don't want to be rude. Also, if we cut you open, what do you look like? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this it's is different, right? Oh, this is why, I, I'm, I'm going, this is why I don't want to go to Harvard anymore. <laughs> Listen, we all want to go to Yale, okay? Yeah. Yeah. That must not end. I wanted to teach it yet, but I'm here at Harvard like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you know why? You know, why you, didn't, you know why you couldn't teach at Yale? What? It's because you've got a third eyeball in the middle of that forehead. <laughs> I've been mean. I also want to So, for this anatomy... <laughs> okay, I'm looking over your resume. Jesus Christ, that's a third eyeball. Uh, yeah, it is. My name's Dan. Uh, I, wanna, I have a third eyeball. It's nothing to worry about. But I can uh, see three. <laughs> you can what? see what's you can inside. See through me? You can see that's what's going to make me an incredible anatomy teacher. I can see through you. It has X-ray vision. Okay. <laughs> it says on here you write poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 